if you just understand that love is love rather than love is opposite sex. I didn't realize I felt different. I was just never attracted to guys. I've always been, I guess, attracted. I didn't know I was always attracted to girls, but I've just always been attracted to them. I realized um, what I felt different. Um, I grew up Mormon, and so I never really had that like notion that I could be different. And I guess I just realized when I met my girlfriend, it was three years ago, and um, I didn't like plan on becoming in a relationship with her, but it just kind of happened and it was a gradual process of realizing and then finally accepting myself because that was a hard thing too. How old were you when you realized this? I came to and understood myself actually my senior year of high school. I never really like considered it as an option. Like I dated guys all through high school because I thought that was the normal thing to do and I've always been one to kind of follow the crowd. Um, but my senior year, I actually had a, one of my best friends came out to me and was like, oh, I like you. And I was like, oh, I don't like you because I don't think I'm like that. And she was like, oh, you're like that. You just don't know it because you have feelings for somebody else. And it was a giant mumbled love triangle. Do you think this generation has more of a tolerance? I think it does. I think it's become a lot more popular and I feel like there's it's gotten to the point where there are some people that I deal with that want to be that are like oh Jess I think I like you but then they have boyfriends back home I think it's honestly like it's kind of like the popular thing for some people and maybe not for everybody it's just the kind of my own experiences it's become something that people are proud of like more people are proud to admit to who they are whereas back in older days it was less socially acceptable what do you think about gay marriage, and do you think uh, they should have the um, the same uh, adoption laws as normal? Um, yes, of course. Um, I am for gay marriage. I want to get married, um, and I mean, obviously, if you want kids, you should be able to have kids. You should be able to adopt. And I've been confronted when I went to counseling. I was sent to counseling to try and change, but I've been confronted saying that like. Uh, two girl parents will not provide the same needs for a family because they don't have a dad to look up to and a dad or a woman can never replace what a man can bring to the family and I disagree completely I think um, it'll just be a different type of family and women can bring the structure and the um, so-called um, like they can bring the money home to the table like it's it will be okay. <laughs> the fact of um, how people think about love, um, it's, not, it's not a gender thing really. You just love people. Um, if people would just love people for who they are and it doesn't matter about gender, and if we get that idea across, there would be a lot less like homophobia um, and a lot less fear to as why, the, why people love the same gender. Um, if you just understand that love is love rather than love is opposite sex. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jessica Franklin. I am 18. I am a freshman here at CSUMB. My name is Ashley. I'm 18 years old. I'm a freshman here at CSUMB. And I am a lesbian. And I am lesbian. <laughs>